Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Huddleston. Just wanting to check in and make sure we're doing what we're supposed to do for Miss Ebony. Okay. All right, so we are going to go through the shared reading book for today called The Perfect Beak. It's by Stephanie Patrone Cahill. Okay. So you're going to need to listen to this book and you can go back and record and re listen um, as many times as you need to um, to do your shared reading response. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go through and read it real quick and then I will go through what you're going to do after. So again, it's called The Perfect Beak. Okay, there's the title page. All right, all birds have beaks. Beaks come in many shapes and sizes. They help each kind of bird get the food it needs. So down here at the bottom, we have the blue jay, a hummingbird, a spoonbill, a heron, a toucan, a toucan, some people say it toucan, toucan, whatever you prefer, and a sap sucker, okay? Down here it says the bird toolbox. A beak is like a tool, each one does a different job. Okay, the blue jay. A blue jay lives in woods and fields. His beak is short and strong. It's perfect for cracking open seeds and nuts. The bird toolbox again. A blue jay's beak is like a nutcracker. See how its beak is short, but it's strong. Heron. A heron lives near water. Her beak is sharp and pointy. It's perfect for catching fish. The bird toolbox again says, a heron's beak is like a fishing spear. A hummingbird. A hummingbird lives near colorful flowers. His beak is long and thin. It's perfect for reaching nectar in flowers. A hummingbird's beak is like a long, thin straw. See, it's going to go in there and get the nectar from the flower. Spoonbill. A spoonbill lives in fresh marshes. Her beak is round like a spoon. It's perfect for scooping up shrimp from the muddy water. A spoonbill's beak is like a very big spoon. Sapsucker. A sapsucker lives in the woods. His beak is hard and sharp. It's perfect for making holes in trees to get sweet sap. A sap sucker's beak is like a hammer and a chisel. A toucan. A toucan lives in the rainforest. Her beak is large but light. It's perfect for picking fruit. A toucan's beak is like a pair of salad tongs. Beaks help different birds eat different kinds of food, but all baby birds' beaks open wide. Their beaks are just perfect for getting food from their mother birds. Okay, so again, remember, you can go back and replay that as many times as you need to for our response to reading today. Okay, so what you are going to do is you're going to get a paper that looks like this. Okay, and this is called a web diagram. So in the middle, we have our title, The Perfect Beak, right here. In each of these circles, you're going to write the name of the bird. You are going to write what its beak is good for. And you're also going to write a word that describes the beak. Okay? So let's say I'm going to do the... Let's go back to our story. I'm going to do the... The toucan. We'll just start there, okay? So you would say, write the word toucan. It's right here at the top, the top, the heading. Then you're gonna say that the beak is large but light. And then what's it good for? Well, it's good for picking fruit, right? So that's what you're going to do. You don't have to write this whole thing. You just need to pick out the words to help you describe it, okay? So again, I'm gonna write toucan. 
I am going to write large but light and then I'm going to put that it's perfect for picking fruit. Okay, so Miss Huddleston will show you on one of them, but you're going to have to do this on your paper. I'm just going to show you as an example right now. Okay, so I'm going to insert a text box so that I can type. Okay, I'm going to delete this and I'm going to move it over here. Okay, so I'm going to say a toucan. I'm going to write that out and I will make this bigger in just one second. Um, it is, what, what did we say? Strong. No, large but light. Large, so I'm gonna go large but light. And then I'm gonna say perfect for picking fruit. Picking fruit, okay? And I will make this bigger so we can see it. Okay, this won't be perfect, but you guys will understand and get the idea of what you're supposed to do. And you will use um, use your book. Go back as many times as you need to, okay? <clears throat> so see, I wrote the name of the bird, toucan. I wrote large but light to describe the beak. And then what was it used for? Well, it's perfect for picking fruit, okay? So I hope this helps. Again, you can go back to the beginning of this video and play it as many times as you need to. You can pause it on a page so that you can write down your facts. Okay, so be good for Miss Ebony. I miss you all so much and I will see you after break. Okay, all right. Bye-bye friends.